Maranatha, page 193, The United States in Prophecy, July 4th. I beheld another beast coming up out of the earth, and he had two horns like a lamb, and he spake as a dragon. Revelation 13, verse 11. One nation, and only one, meets the specifications of this prophecy. It points unmistakably to the United States of America. Here is a striking figure in the rise and growth of our own nation. And the lamb-like horns, emblems of innocence and gentleness, well represent the character of our government as expressed in its two fundamental principles, republicanism and protestantism. The Lord has done more for the United States than for any other country upon which the sun shines. Here he provided an asylum for his people where they could worship him according to the dictates of conscience. Here, Christianity has progressed in its purity. The life-giving doctrine of the one mediator between God and man has been freely taught. God designed that this country should ever remain free for all people to worship him in accordance with the dictates of conscience. He designed that its civil institutions in their expansive productions should represent the freedom of gospel privileges. But the enemy of all righteousness has designs upon God's purpose for this country. He will bring in enterprises that will lead men to forget that there is a God. Worldliness and covetousness, which is idolatry, will prevail through the working of the arch-deceiver to the law of God in all its bearings shall be made void. I have been shown that Satan is stealing a march upon us. The law of God through the agency of Satan is to be made void in our land of boasted freedom. Religious liberty will come to an end. When our nation in its legislative councils shall enact laws to bind the consciousness of men in regard to their religious privileges, enforcing Sunday observance, and bringing oppressive power to bear against those who keep the seventh-day Sabbath, the law of God will, to all intents and purposes, be made void in our land, and national apostasy will be followed by national ruin.